Back in 2017, I was living the life. Young gun, agency owner, making videos for cool startups, working my way up. We had an awesome portfolio already and plenty of work to pay everyone and still have money for burgers. One day, a huge corporate client called me and wanted our help. Their brief was quite extensive with a lot of things to learn and understand, a lot of technical stuff, but essentially it boiled down to explain our new product in about three minutes. Check, that'll be 15,000. Fast forward a few weeks, we had a video ready for them. I sent it to them and I was so excited to receive their feedback a few days later. That morning, I opened up my inbox before coffee, saw the new email, clicked it, and... A million changes, a ton of time codes and endless feedback on what seemed like changes to every single scene in this entire three minute video. I pushed back on some of it, more emails back and forth. I argued for our decisions, more emails, but in the end, the only solution was to just start from the top and grind all the way through it. We did eventually deliver the project and the client was happy, but those final feedback rounds just killed my energy for weeks. Back then, I knew very little about creative processes and young and dumb as I was, I thought uh, written emails was the best way to give feedback on a visual product. Today, I know it can be done a whole lot better because there are two things wrong with just emailing someone. Here's the video, I look forward to your feedback. The first problem is format. It's very tedious and imprecise with written text as the format for giving feedback on a video, a visual format. And the second problem is about controlling the process. So I try to be very clear with the clients that this is the last phase of the production. You have to give feedback on the visuals only, but there was always problems with this. Now, Review Studio, who's the sponsor of this video, just updated their whole branding and website and, and reached out to me and asked if I could take their tool for a spin. And immediately I was like, what if I had this tool back then? Would I then have had more love for these feedback rounds and delivered faster and better projects? Six years later, I can now experience what a professional review process looks like. We're gonna try a few of their markup and annotation tools that are perfect for what I do, explainer videos, and I'm gonna try them out, see how they work, and uh, find out if this actually saves me time compared to just writing textual emails. So let's pretend the situation is that I've just sent this video to my clients and I'm waiting for the feedback so I can wrap this project up, invoice them and get my money, right? Imagine my client, Bob, he's uh, head of marketing at Acme Corp. He receives this email with the video in his inbox with absolutely no guidance on what he's supposed to do. No guidance on how to provide feedback and on what. What I should have done was to upload the video to Review Studio and invite Bob in here. The big green button says uploads, choose files, and we will just find our explainer video, double click, upload files, and it'll just take a second for Review Studio to encode that file. Meanwhile, we will share this review, go into guests, and allow guest access. And I'll just send this invite link to Bob. Now Bob can watch the video, annotate directly on each scene, and comment with the changes he wants made. For example, if Bob thinks that this character should smile a little more, he'll just draw a line around his face and say... When he does this, what I see on my end is a neat little task that gets created. I can annotate it to someone, for example myself, and mark it as done when I've done it and move on to the next one. Beautifully simple for the clients and easy to overview for me. Another common situation when we asked clients for feedback on our projects was that they started to give feedback on the script, not the visuals. Meaning that now they had new ideas, we would probably have to re-record part of the voiceover and create new animations for those scenes. This is not what you want when the script was approved two weeks ago and you feel like you are almost finished with this project. But Bob is actually not to blame here. I sent him a completely open task. Here's the video, I look forward to your feedback. The tool itself helps control the process here. It suggests that Bob uses these features to do specific things on the visual side and not re-evaluate the whole storyline. It also gives Bob the feeling that what he does is right. It's not a completely open task. Here are a handful of tools, and if you use them to give us feedback, you've done good. In my agency, we were a small handful of animators. 
So it would have been nice with an easier way to distribute work. It was impossible to divide this work between us with these last feedback rounds because all the information was inside our email threads on different inboxes, impossible to get an overview of what needed to be done, what had already been done and coordinate all that stuff. The pro way would have been to keep all the feedback inside a tool, give everyone access to this overview so there's complete transparency and assign tasks to people. Okay, so Bob thinks that this phone looks too old. Update to a newer model. I will just have my animator to do this. Please do this and post. A last situation where I can see how much frustration I could have saved myself from is that feeling I talked about in the beginning when I received those feedback emails. Walls of text, it seemed like so much to do, even though it maybe wasn't. I think I spent more energy feeling creatively offended and being frustrated about the extra time we had to put into this project than the energy it took to actually implement the feedback. Text takes a long time to write and it's very hard to explain a visual change in words. The easy way for me and Bob would be for him to find the spot, point at what he means and write a few words. And this review process doesn't only apply to client work. It's also the right way to collaborate on any kind of creative work in a team. Getting feedback from colleagues can be as inefficient and frustrating. Review Studio does other cool things too, like comparing two versions side by side and highlighting all the changes. So imagine we've made all the changes and now we want to upload a version two of this video to see if it's done. And then you can use this cool slider to see the difference. Oh, the speaker is gone in version two. Very cool. And it's not just for video, even though that's what I would have used it for back in the explainer video days. Today, I'm thinking about getting a freelancer to help me create thumbnails for my YouTube videos. Then you don't see any timeline, of course, but instead you see all the suggestions in one view with comments attached to each one. A shared interface and contextualized feedback is what all creative collaboration requires. And here's a simple tool that allows for that. So thanks Review Studio for fixing my frustrations. If you want to check it out yourself, you can sign up for a free 15 day trial. There's a link below the video. And this is not just for explainer videos. It's for advertising, designers, marketing, real estate, architecture, photography, all things creative that requires collaboration and proofing. It's very intuitive to use, which is crucial for it to be better and faster than email. Clever people say that new stuff has to be 10 times better than the old in order for it to be adopted. And this certainly is 10 times better than emails for sure. And maybe you already use some kind of legacy platform that has a dedicated corner in it for feedback and collaboration, but interface matters. It has to be optimal for you to actually use it. Otherwise you'll just go back to the old processes. So this might be an upgrade to consider, even though you already use something else. Simple is my one word and everyone who is on the same mission is my friend. And so are you for watching this video. If you want to become even closer, you can subscribe to the channel. It's free. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.